Yes. Every single mother who dies is one mother who dies too many. We are all here to prevent maternal mortality. That's why we train midwives. That's why we train doctors. That's why we come together. That's why we have hospitals. That's why we have operating theaters. That's why we have MCH centers. That's why we all come together to save that mother and that child. The Republic of Somaliland today has one of the best maternal and child health services in the Horn of Africa. <laughs> Fozia, thank you, Huyu. You have done a lot. And I'm so proud of you. And I want you to bring, to bring this discussion also to a forum. We have women who have a ruptured uterus. Okay. <laughs> Whose consent do we need? <laughs> to stop this bleeding, she's dying. She has a ruptured uterus. She has internal bleeding. She's shocked. Her pulse is not even audible. She has no blood pressure. We have the operating theater. We have the staff. We have the surgeon. We have the facilities to save her and her baby if it's still alive. But if we have to wait for the grandfather, the grandmother, the awo, the adero, the ninkedi, the abehe, the walal kid, she will die. So forget about C-sections. What about the one who has a ruptured appendix? What about the one who's just been run over by a car? And, and, and is bleeding? And who needs an immediate amputation? Do I wait? No, I'm not going to wait until he, her father comes back from Togwa Jale or, or just the next house. She is alive. She is a person. She says, yes, I will consent to my surgery. She has the right. She's conscious. She's an adult. This is her body. I've had two operations in my life. I didn't have a husband or a brother or a father or a grandfather to sign for me. I signed. And what my operation was, I had it. And if I didn't do that, I would have been dead because I had intestinal obstruction. So I would have been dead. I had no father. I was in Germany. My father was dead. My grandfather is dead. My husband is back in Mogadishu. My brother is somewhere in the army. Who was going to sign for me? I had intestinal obstruction. I was flown in as an acute ab appendix. Acute abdomen. I signed. I'm here. Alhamdulillah. So if the person is conscious, yes, there are emotions. Yes, there are expenses. This is where the problem is. When this woman signs, the husband is going to say, or the father is going to say, this is the first thing. No, 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 the baby is mine. The husband and the, and the father of the woman fight in front of us. Hey. And the woman is bleeding. You signed because it's your baby. You cannot sign. She is my daughter. You cannot sign for her. So they fight. The baby dies. Do you know that? That's what happens in our hospitals. Somebody else comes in. And says, Calling who want to go here, dig a mogul. I agree to the surgery, but my, my daughter will not have any blood. I just pay that sin again. Covid pay that sin a mogul. All I had to do is like he said, dig a gas robe. So we need to find a solution. We are not the only people in the world 
who have women who bleed. We are not the only people in the world who have babies who are dying. We are not the only people in the world who are Muslim. And a Muslim wife, her value is not less than anybody else. So let us find a solution for this. Don't let us do operations just because well, tomorrow I'm going to be on holiday, so I will operate her today. Not for my convenience, but to save her life. Not for f money. How much am I going to... Oh, she's wearing a lot of gold. Yeah, I, th I think I'll, I'll do a C-section. This way I can get more money. No, we don't do that. We don't operate on people because we want money. We like women who do not have operations. We like women who have babies the normal way, if they can. But if there is an obstruction, yes, we will operate. We will get this baby out. We will do whatever it takes to keep her and the baby alive. And that's science. That's medical science. That's what we have been taught. Otherwise, close down all the nursing schools, close down all the midwifery schools, close down all the medical schools, and let's all go back to the bush. So we're either a modern, efficient nation, or we are not. We cannot have both. We cannot say we can do I am how you know go on out or link a kale awa you wa kuma. The mhag hagalink a kale ill me said when away de hagal do ye hai. Many stupid idiots. No, science does not know religion, does not know region, does not know tribe, does not know politics, does not know what anything, a science, a bleeding is bleeding. You stop it. A Buddhist doctor will come and will save this life. Anybody who has the knowledge, the science, the knowledge, the surgical skills to save will save. And Rabbana subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this Buddhist singer, singer, the knowledge to save this Somali woman who is Muslim. Ilahe babarai. Whatever. Whatever. What I'm requesting is Mahankurai, a survey, a maternal, maternal and child health survey in Somaliland. Take that message back to my colleague. We want a separate maternal and child health survey for the Republic of Somaliland, which is separate from anybody else. If it's good, alhamdulillah, if it's bad, it's our fault. And we will take the responsibility for anything that that survey shows. Thank you very much, Edo.